Dwarf Planet Ceres is the largest asteroid in the solar system. This giant body has been called an asteroid for many years. Ceres is so much bigger and so different from other rocky objects that scientists classified it as a dwarf planet in 2006. The name Ceres comes from the Roman goddess of corn and harvest. It can be found in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Scientists think Ceres may have an ocean and possibly an atmosphere. The recent arrival of a probe has unlocked some of the dwarf planet secrets. Recently NASA has released some high resolution images that give a close up look at the mysterious bright spots in Ceres. The images come courtesy of the NASA Dawn spacecraft, which could be found at the lowest orbit of the planet. The incredible photographs reveal the salt deposits, which is located in the Octa crater of Ceres. The Dawn spacecraft captured the photographs on the 22nd of June 2018. Dawn is a space probe that was launched by NASA in September of 2007. Its mission is to study two of the three known protoplanets of the asteroid belt, Vesta and Ceres. The Dawn spacecraft was able to send back high resolution photographs showing the rugged surface. The scientists were intrigued by the bright spots in the Ocosa crater. The spots can clearly be seen in the high resolution photos. This is due to the fact they stand out against what is essentially a dark backdrop. They are something the public along with scientists were amazed ever since Dawn first discovered them in 2015. On the 6th of June 2018, the spacecraft was at its lowest orbit and since then has managed to send back many photographs. It's thought we have over a thousand photographs of Ceres. One thing that has baffled scientists is how Ceres evolved over time, and how it managed to remain geologically active, even though the planet is relatively small in comparison to other planets. NASA said the latest images to come from Ceres have a resolution that is less than 5 meters per pixel. The framing camera lead investigator Dr. Andreas said the following. The data exceeds all our expectations. The orbit of Ceres is 22 miles from the surface, with NASA capturing the carbonate deposit on the southwest part. The salt deposits gave a huge clue about the current activity, while the data and images will help scientists to find answers to how they got there. The results of the high resolution images have been better than hopeful, as they will show the rich details of the planet, offering scientists along with others a glimpse of the beauty of Ceres. The low orbits meant that many more details could be seen on the planet, including the bright spots. Ceres may look dry and grey, but it probably held a liquid ocean in its past. Antarctica is noted as being the very last region of Earth in recorded history to be discovered. Despite discoveries however the continent has remained largely ignored for the entire 19th century. This was mainly due to the land's hostile environment, lack of easily accessible resources and terrible isolation. It wasn't until the end of the 1800s that people began to even realise the land existed in the first place, and began including it on maps and globes around the world. Oddly enough though it is only recently discovered, myths of this land have been circulating among underground communities for quite a few centuries, but was often disregarded by supposed experts as nothing more than fantasy or legend. Over the last 20 years or so many great discoveries have come from this land. Recently however researchers have said that they have noticed a large fissure growing in the continent's fourth largest ice shelf. This was first picked up back in November. This was because the crack grew by over 90 miles. This has led scientists to speculate the Larsen Sea Ice Shelf is breaking apart. For those unaware the Larsen Ice Shelf is a long ice shelf in the northwest part of the Weddell Sea. This can be found on the east side. The ice shelf itself originally covered an area of 85,000 square kilometers or 33,000 square miles. However in recent years it is thought to measure around 67,000 square kilometers or 26,000 square miles. Researchers have been studying this ice shelf for many years now, and noticed the cracks during the 1990s. A large piece of ice broke off and has now been named the A68. This piece of ice is a massive 5,800 square kilometers and weighs more than a trillion tons. They are still trying to understand why this is happening. There are some that think it's not a big deal and that it's been happening for years, but for others this could be an indication for bad things to come. The extreme nature of Antarctica doesn't make it an easy place to study either. Scientists have also expressed their concern about an iceberg twice the size of New York City. 
According to NASA scientists, if this giant piece of ice did happen to break off, it could potentially have big consequences. The researchers suggested if this was to happen, there could be a global flood, suggesting that many coastal cities would be affected. According to scientists, Antarctica is now melting at triple the rate it did in 2007, and if this trend continues, thousands of coastal communities around the world will soon be underwater. Recently, scientists exploring a remote island discovered something incredible. They had found a gigantic species of bee that was thought to have gone extinct. This bee species is known as the Wallace's giant bee. It was named after naturalist and explorer Alfred Russell Wallace. The scientists were on an expedition on the North Molucas Islands. These islands are located within Banda Sea, Indonesia. Something interesting to note is that the majority of these islands are geologically young. Researchers believe they're from 1 million to 15 million years old. These islands are also home to an incredible amount of wildlife. It's known for its many nocturnal marsupials, wild pigs and bird species. Underneath the islands are coral reefs scattered with various endangered fish species. Now, these researchers have discovered this bee species which is long thought to be extinct. This bee is far larger than the average honeybee. It has a wingspan of up to 6 centimeters. These creatures are known to build their homes within termite mounds. What the researchers are hoping for is that more of these can be found, so that their numbers can be increased. They say that it's important to act now so we don't lose them forever. The bee that was discovered was a female and she measured almost 5 centimeters. Although this is great news, it's recently been announced the world's insect population is declining at a fast rate. This is according to a global scientific review. Researchers have also suggested that thousands of species could potentially go extinct by the end of the century. This is huge news as each creature has an important role in the ecosystem. This study has suggested that over 40% of the insect species are declining, and almost a third of them are already classified as endangered. It's important to remember that the rate of extinction for insects is much higher than mammals, birds and reptiles. Researchers and scientists have identified around 925,000 species of insects. However, it's estimated there could be over 40 million species of insects on our planet. Each year we discover thousands of new species, and each one teaches us something new about the animal kingdom. One of the main reasons for them declining in numbers is because of us humans. We use a massive amount of pesticides in a year, and it's starting to take a toll on the natural world. These chemicals poison the insects when they feed. Other reasons are the destruction of their homes. Rising global temperatures are also having an effect on these creatures. Scientists are worried because if they did go extinct, it would have big repercussions on the planet's ecosystems. Our moon has been around for billions of years. The moon has been known since prehistoric times, and it's the second brightest object in the sky after the sun. Recently, NASA's Artemis mission showed scientists some strange coloration on the surface of the moon. It was then announced this was due to a form of sunburn. It's well known that our moon has no global magnetic field. Magnetized rocks that can be found close to the surface do have small spots of magnetic fields. Some researchers refer to these as miniature sunscreens. However, the sun rays are deflected away from these areas, and when they hit areas that don't have these sunscreens, it causes a chemical reaction. The end result is a darker surface. The team have said they hope these findings will help to protect astronauts from harmful effects of radiation during future missions. Staying on the subject of the moon, a while back China was making headlines by saying they're going to send an illumination satellite in orbit by 2020. They say it will be bright enough to replace street lamps. Essentially, they want to send an artificial moon in orbit. As you can imagine, this has made many people question why they want to do this. After all, we do have something that lights up the night sky, the moon. Scientists have also questioned why they'd want to do this. So far, not much information has been released about the project, and this has left many wondering where the idea came from in the first place. Some have suggested the idea had been in testing for a few years, and the technology was now in place to make it happen. The China Daily newspaper stated that huge mirrors could be launched by 2022. 
it's not clear from any reports whether this project has any official backing. The artificial moon would work as a mirror, reflecting sunlight back to the Earth. So far we don't have any idea how this object will look, but it's thought it won't be small. Reports say the object will orbit 500 kilometers above the Earth. This device is said to be able to reflect sunlight across an area of between 10 kilometers and 80 kilometers. What's worried some people though is that it's been estimated the artificial moon will be 8 times as bright as the real moon. It's been said this could have an effect on wildlife and even some people sleep. Some wildlife depend on the moonlight. The reason behind doing this is to save money by cutting back electric bills. This includes saving money on things like street lamps. It's been estimated that by constructing this artificial moon it could save China up to £132 million a year. Astronomers have said there's around 3,000 human-made satellites in working order around the Earth. However, if the debris of old and damaged satellites are taken into account the number increases dramatically. Ever since the Soviet Union launched the very first artificial satellite into orbit in 1957, various countries around the world have sought to compete, and satellites today are used for communication, navigation and exploration. Satellites are often visible passing overhead as the sunlight reflects back towards the Earth. One of them is impossible to miss, the largest satellite currently in orbit the International Space Station. Recently astronomers have made an interesting discovery. They have announced that our planet is currently being orbited by an artificial satellite. Interestingly, this object looks similar to an empty bag. It's been theorized the object in question is a leftover piece of rocket, but at the moment astronomers are unsure. The object was first picked up by scientists a few weeks back. This was when the asteroid Terrestrial Impact's last alert system alerted astronomers. Although doing research on this object may sound pointless, it's important for astronomers to understand what this object is. One of the first things they picked up on was that it's extremely lightweight, and has a high area to mass ratio. As mentioned, the most likely candidate is leftover material from a rocket launch. However, this isn't set in stone, and researchers are still studying the object. Astronomers have noticed something interesting about this object, and this is its orbit. It's been observed within 600 kilometers or 373 miles of Earth's surface. When similar objects like rocket pieces have been spotted, they usually stay much closer to Earth. One person said the following about this object. Although this is an interesting discovery, it would be sad if this was just a piece of rubbish. It's one thing to litter on our own planet, but we're now littering in outer space. Incredibly though, just outside of our Earth's atmosphere, there's a lot of space junk. A study in 2013 announced there's over 170 million bits of debris outside of our Earth. These are believed to be smaller than 1 centimeter. There's over 670,000 pieces of debris between 1 and 10 centimeters, and around 29,000 larger pieces were estimated to be in orbit around the Earth. It's important to note that these objects will fall back to Earth sometime in the future, so the likelihood is that this object is one of those pieces. However, scientists and astronomers will continue to keep an eye on the object. So what do you guys think this artifact is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.